so guys rex and obviously it's clear that in terms of like you know performance today it's obvious that one person did slightly better still blew up but slightly better the two of you tried to work uh, in tandem and couldn't get your flags from the cars nick was driving a little bit too well too good in my opinion but he did try to slow down for your asses but you know bruh I, I, I comment on that dude <laughs> i went into i don't know how many dead end dead ends and i yeah okay so before we talk about anything else i want to see if anybody else here wants to talk about rex or hand if you got any words for them we can start with maybe scud anything you want to say about the boys well pretty much i've known rex for a very long time speak up speak up yeah shout and let's give each other uh, give one minute to each person we don't take fucking one hour here go <laughs> all right sum up rex i think you've come a very long way from when i first met you you've improved greatly with your driving and your shooting and matured a lot han you've been one of my picks for seaside pretty much since i joined so yeah i like you guys a lot that's it reggie ah uh, rex i'll be honest you're a no for me originally when your name was brought up uh, i felt you were too emotional and uh, you crumble pretty easily hence why i've gone extra hard on you to see how you're going and see if you'd actually uh fold and crack the shits at me but you found yourself well you found yourself something you like doing and uh your growth has been good to see but hopefully you can keep it up and you keep finding more things that you'll oh, enjoy God. doing and yep yeah have a heap of contacts underneath yourself so you'll be your own person on you're a fucking lemon man yeah <laughs> fuck me dead <laughs> but you know what you're our lemon you're dedicated we don't have to ask you to do something twice you just go and do what you need to do and get it done you've found a group of friends that you're doing other things with as well which is good to see and you're not always just sitting there just twiddling your thumbs waiting for something to do you're your own person and uh you're a character you make us laugh and we enjoy having you around all right so just remember even though you're a lemon you're our lemon Ivan. Well, you can be a lemon or a demon, a shooter or a driver. For me, the most important part is both of you are not afraid to put in work. Pick up. Thanks, Ivan. Chico. Okay, fine. Ivan, you're not shouting, Ivan. You need to shout. I'm joking. Ivan, continue. Yeah. You are really no, soft, that's bro. That's basically it. Yeah, that was basically it. Both of you are not afraid to put in work and. That is the most important part for me. Thank you, Ivan. Chico? Um, pretty much, I always said the same shit. Um, whenever we needed you guys, you guys dropped anything and it come helping us. You guys will help us with previous wars when you didn't have to. And that goes a long way. You have our backs and we have yours. Thank you, Chico. JJ, I'm gonna be completely honest. Like, um, uh, before before the the war started, I didn't really get to know you guys too much. Obviously, I knew you, but uh, never really got to spend one-on-one uh, -on -one time with you guys. But seeing how much, how how you guys had the families back up without hesitation, and were willing to help out and defend everybody without any blink of an eye like uh makes me respect you guys a lot and um everybody in the family really values you and uh you guys are part of ours in my opinion Jimmy, fine i'm gonna apologize because uh i don't know how you're sick of my voice but i'll make it quick uh wex you're one of my four very close friends in this group uh you basically introduced me to everyone um and got me involved with uwa which you know I mean, to meet everyone else. Um, we've done a lot together. Uh, I tossed you with my wife. Um, you know, you, you've definitely shown your loyalty to the group and everyone in this family. Uh, when the war 
ticked off. Uh, so I appreciate that. Han, we've known each other for a while as well. Uh, we haven't been able to do too much together, but uh, I know you're willing to drop anything for anybody in this group. Uh, I don't have a single doubt in my mind. Um, and yeah. Thank you, Timmy. Uh, Javi? Yeah, I'll make it quick. Rex, get better at driving. Han, get better at shooting. Good shit today. That's all. Nick? Um, well, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Thank you, Nick. Nick sounds like a uh, <laughs> Is that all, Nick? The hair is blue. KJ. How the fuck can I compete with that? <laughs> <laughs> right, from the... Uh, from... <laughs> The seriousness there. Rex, you've been around us for like, I don't know how long now, eight months, nine Fucking months, you know, like, Nick, ooh, you've been a friend of a lot of the people in the group. You've always been down to help out no matter what it is, you know, in the back end or jump in if there is something, you know. Um, you're a great guy. Han, you're kind of like new. I understand you come from a different gang, but... The way you show yourself, the way you basically just help out, no question asked, you drop everything. Like you, 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 you don't care. You don't question. You just bring it on, and you're there. You know what I mean? And coming down to the beach and just drive around like you're a part of us. You like you guys don't have the flag, but you're still being a part of us. It's fucking crazy. I, you both are two good guys, right? There's a little work to do, but. Fuck it. You guys are great. Thank you, KJ. Ash. Well, okay. Can I be serious? Okay, Nick. Yes. All right. Short. Han, I vouched for you pretty much first week I joined because uh, I needed to, to fuck that, fuck up that dog guy. <laughs> and with, uh, with a bomb, and you said, all right, let's go. That's the ninth right there. You didn't even question it. So... You were an instant vouch for me. Uh, Rex, I haven't seen much of you. Uh, I mean, I have seen much of you in the war, but bef before that, not at all. Uh, I think you've been a, um, a, a, a positive and good pickup for, for Seaside in general. So, um, like I said, um, I think there's a lot of things you need to practice on, uh, but uh again that's not why you're being blooded in uh you're being blooded in because you're our fire star lemons i'm right thank you nick ash um well rex i'm gonna be honest i was the first person who brought you up months ago to join us and I was also the first person to say no to you. I didn't want you to join us. I didn't think you were ready. I didn't think you were emotionally stable enough. And I didn't think you could handle it. You have grown so much as a person since then. You are not the same person I met. You're a whole nother man. You're incredible, Rex. Like. Oh, wow. You're doing races, you're driving, you're putting your life on the line for the boys, you know? No question asked, you're jumping in to help. I know that you've, uh, you've got our backs in there. I hope you know going forward that we'll have you as well. Han? You, you're, you're like a little baby bird, man. I fucking love the shit out of you. I think you're great. You're great to be around. You, you make me smile when you're there. You both have a lot to improve on you both will always have a lot to improve on you should be always striving to improve so don't let the things that you're not the best at get you down focus on what you're gonna do going forward and uh i'll i'll be proud to have you by my side thank you ash so rex hun you know it's been a tough couple of weeks it's been a tough couple of weeks and you know what's funny? I've come to realize that this city, the lifestyle that we have is very, very difficult. 
And the reason is the fact that you cannot trust anybody. Everybody seems to be going against you. Every time that you think you're about to go to the next level and get something done, the, the elements of distrust and uh, loyalty come into play. And then you suddenly realize that you don't have that many friends. And personally for me, if it wasn't for seaside, I don't know what I would do because everybody behind me right now, as you can tell, has my back and they would do anything for me and I would do anything for them. Depending on how much it would cost me, of course, in terms of dollar signs. Of course. But, Rex, Han, I do have something to say. Very important. Rex, I'm not going to lie here and, t and say that you, I, I, I thought you were a perfect candidate. Sometimes you're a little bit brash. You're a little bit fucking annoying. You're a little bit too overconfident. But it's obvious that today... You showed a little bit of your skill and you showed a little bit of your, uh, what do you, what do you call it guys? You showed a little bit of what you lack. Unlike me, I would have probably done all the missions today perfectly. But then again, I am very experienced. <laughs> Han, <laughs> Han, you are, you are an absolute lemon. Okay. Don't get me wrong. Okay, guys, I want you to remember one thing today. All right. Becoming seaside. There's a lot of stuff that we do. There's no doubt about it. And in this city, if you want to get into the thicker things, when it comes to meth runs, casino jobs, banks, vaults, lower vaults, everything going from gun dealing to selling drugs and everything, you need to be a part of a gang, a family. And I want you guys to know one thing. Okay. You're not going to be part of all of it. You won't because there comes a time where we have to make hard decisions and we need to choose the people that are best suited for it. And even the people behind me right now, unfortunately, there are times where I have to say, no, you have to stay. You have to stay here and hold it down because you're just not ready for it. But it's all about time. And becoming an associate is something where, you know, we basically trust you with our lives, but we don't trust you with our money yet. It's a simple fact. We need to know how you think, but now you can pull off the most difficult uh, of tasks. And I hope you I hope you understand that being an associate is something where we get to learn more about you. You get the opportunity during times where we suddenly need one person to come along and then you get to be lucky enough to come and you prove yourself there and then. Rex. You have truly changed. You are, a, as Ash said, a completely different person. I had a lot of doubts about you, but you ended up changing. And uh, today you showed that. I think uh, there's not much else to say, Rex. I only have one question for you, okay? Knowing okay. all of this, Knowing the hardships that you're going to have to go through, knowing that you have to listen to every fucking word that I say, knowing that you have to listen to Ash, to listen to KJ, no matter what they say, and everybody else that's a full member, do you understand how difficult this will be, Rex? Yeah. You understand it. And knowing that it will be difficult, do you want to have the seaside flag on your fucking face. Yes, of course. Good answer. Nick, one second. Do you want me to give? Give him. Give this yeah, guy a flag. I, I don't have fucking have one though. Fuck me. I have one on me. I have one here. Wait, 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 wait. I'm not done. God damn it, guys. All right. All right, all right, give sure. Rex, pick this up. Listen, put it on. Stand there. And I'm telling you right now, okay? You, I feel, are a big fucking gamble. Not because 
We don't like you, but because of your skill set, I'll be honest with you fully. I am very fucking worried where you're going to fucking slot in. But the loyalty that you've shown during our times of war, the fact that every fucking time I went to the beach while we were at war, you were there every fucking moment. Every fucking moment. That means a lot. Loyalty is nothing to be joked with in this city, okay? And I know that you would do anything for us. And saying that, I think I already know your answer whether or not you want to be an associate of Seaside. But I think uh, Nick might have that special present for you, okay? Motherfucker, I, I give you mine. Motherfucker, give him something else, man. Yeah, give him yeah, yours, man. dickhead. I, I, got, I got it right here. The one off your face and give him that one. Yeah, exactly. Make it look cool, man. Give you, give you, you give right the here. mask on your face and give it to him. Cause you like him a lot. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Give him a kiss. Oh shit, you didn't have one. Think it's a bad man. Put it on, bitch. Hey. Welcome to Seaside, motherfuckers! What's up? Yeah! Welcome! Yeah. Now you die for me. <laughs> 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 all right, fuck, this took goddamn too long, bro. Guys, I know, I know. It's just my ego talking, Chico, please. Yeah, I know, I know. Guys, I have to be honest with you. I am running out of ideas for the blood ins. Right, we only got two left, okay? I, uh, I, I'm losing my fucking mind. Holy shit. All right, guys. Now, uh, Rex, and fuck off, man. Go make some money. And that is it, guys, for the video. Like, share, and subscribe if you want more. Thank you.